dark hole where you are consumed by your very own thoughts. You want it to stop, but every day feels like no point of return. For these thoughts have spiraled out of control. You wonder, would it be the end of me if I were to admit myself to a mental institution? For you feel that at any moment from now, you can be declared crazy. You constantly scratch your head, for now these thoughts have turned into real voices. I am not saying I have all the solutions for you as our experiences differ. However, today's video marks one of the solutions that have been of help for me. And perhaps if you happen to find yourself in a similar situation, this might help you as well. Stay tuned as today we are beginning to address the mental or intellectual handicaps that we all come across. Hello my lovelies, you know it is the time of the week again. I am your beautiful host Fifi and do welcome to Provoke Intellect. <laughs> I have learned that in any problem we face in life, if we hope to find any solutions for it, we have to start off by first locating the root cause of what now is a problem. Then we can talk about finding solutions. Then what follows will be the implementation of those solutions. How did I end up here? When did it start to get so messy? How does one even start having thoughts? One should make it a habit to ask themselves such questions. Now all the parts that consist of the self were not meant to do us any harm. And that includes the intellectual system. Our thoughts were not meant to be our enemies, but ally as we struggle to make it in the sphere of earth. I figured, Perhaps if I can know how thought comes about, where and why, then I might be able to reach some light. So now, let us look into it. The brain is a complex entity on its own, but at least it can be seen with the naked eye and it can be studied as well. So whenever, whenever one has a brain malfunction, those that have studied it can be able to diagnose what one is suffering from. Is it neck? Whereas, when we talk about the mind, we are referring to something that cannot be seen and it is the most dominant entity that we struggle with as humanity. So where does it all begin? Right. So I, as an intellect, are partial, incomplete. But I am not entirely helpless because I have been given an assistant called mind. Remember what mind is? An intellectual capacity. This friend of mine helps me as an intellect to form reasonable thought patterns. So while it is doing so, it is actually creating frames or a place in which my thoughts as an intellect can take place in. We must not forget that mind is also an arena of choice. So I as an intellect choose what I feed my mind with. Whatever it is, I must always remember that mind is what a creator. I have discovered that if there's anything that mind cannot function well without is facts. So whatever it is that I as an intellect are feeling, be it knowledge, belief, tradition, culture or whatsoever, if this is not true, then this marks the beginning of my problems. Because if I continue to feed on what is not true, then this renders it difficult for the mind to do its work. Which is what? Which is to help me as an intellect to reach conclusions and understand. Now, if the mind fails to penetrate to true origins, then will such a mind unfailingly come up with its own conclusions and invent its own origins, right? And while it is doing so, it is doing so so that it may have a means of what? Of reasonable thought within the frame of this mind-created assumptions. So while such frames for creature thought are necessary to logical intellectual operation, they are without exception false to a greater or lesser degree. Mind is all about all you and I have that is of universe reality, that is subject to our will. It is the cosmic instrument upon which our will can play the discords of what of destruction or upon which the same human will can bring forth the exquisite melodies. Mm. And perhaps that which we call many voices, you know, signifies the presence of what? The presence activity of living ministry in mind. I initially concluded that I am responsible for all the frames that I have led mind to create. My choosing led to the dark hole I found myself in. Now there came a time for me to accept and turn the wheel around for a different direction. To 
comfort myself that you know what these frames are always just the visible scaffolds that eventually have to give way before the expansion of enlarging understanding and i also got to understand the power of choice and how it was and continues to be important for me to make my own mistakes to live my life for mind is unifying of all divergences but in the very absence of such divergences it finds no foundation upon which to attempt to formulate understanding concepts i now understand that error has a limited time and there will come a time when now it has to give way for what for truth now the problem lies when one refuses to let go and keeps on holding on to what is not true. Mm -mm. By so doing, the mind on the other side, it continues to come up with its own things that intend seem to make sense, but in reality, they are not. Now this results in what? Your thought patterns becoming a mess. If I am talking to you, it is not the end of you. I might not know why you ended up where you are now, but all is not lost. This calls only for you to reflect on your life and to start choosing differently. Now it remains true that life is what you make of it. Each of us are born with a purpose. Your life was not meaningless, is not meaningless. It will never be meaningless unless you choose for it to be so. So this marks the end of today's discussion. Please do not forget to comment, like, and share this content. Till you and I meet again, it is your girl Fifi signing out right now.